Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my Art Journey channel. Today we're going to be using some bright colours and some um, collage papers on a use it up page. So this is a used up page in my journal. You can see it's got an awful lot of mess and madness in the background. I've got some stenciling. You can see I'm making some more use it up pages in the background there. This is how I create these pages. I might spray something through on one page and then I'll go and put some ink on another page. Um, the reason I do this is because sometimes just dealing with a bl blank page is just too difficult. So I want to have some colour in the background and once I've got some colour in the background I don't feel as precious about what I'm doing. So I've just stamped with the big chevron stamp um, into my journal with some white ink and I actually wanted it to be a lot whiter so I've got my white embossing powder out. Now I don't emboss very often anymore um, but when I do I always remember how much I love it and think oh I should really do this more and particularly on this page um, having that embossed of the white chevron you can see the white really sort of come up it gave beautiful texture to the page and um, it just fitted in really nicely so I'm going through this lovely heap of um, doodly pages from Dina Wakeley these are her church doodles or a set of church doodle um, collage tissues. And I'm just fussy cutting around this uh, because while I'm not usually fussy, when it comes to using collage tissues I don't like having the white borders around the edges so I like having it trimmed up as close as possible so I don't have that halo effect around it. Once I glued the lady down onto the page I then decided I wanted to sort of I didn't like that she didn't have a head or hair so I decided I wanted to um, create some so I'm using this I think it's called living things mask and I'm stenciling in um, a little like crown for her head um, using the leafy shape overlapping it so it sort of fits in the way I want it to and then I decide to put the flower over the top too so she's got a little bit of a sort of hibiscus-y type tropical feel to the page. I think that was coming through from the um, colours I'd used in the background. So I quite liked how that sort of all worked in the end. You can see I haven't really cleaned my sponge. I had a lot of white on it because I'd been doing something previously with white. Um, so I'm going back in and just boosting the colours a little bit. Um, by putting the white down and then, oh sorry, Having the white mixed in to the colours gave it a good base to sort of block out the colours from before and then you can add some more over the top. I don't know if you noticed by putting the whites of the eyes on the figure it really pushed them out of the page. It's just a really simple and effective way to um, make your face stand out from the background. I also had some metallic um, paint, I think that's Penny. And this stencil has these gorgeous little dots on it. Um, for those of you who follow my channel know I love um, mic making. I had a mental blank for a moment. So by having a stencil that has sort of those mic making bits on it, it's really, really handy. I'm just going in now with my pen, really loose scribbly lines over the top of the stenciling, just to sort of bring a hand-drawn element to the page. On the face I also used a little bit of paint to put in the rosy cheeks, put in some lips, now I'm putting some splatter over it and I'm using a lot of the similar colours. Um, so I'm using sort of the yellows and the oranges and the greens, just repeating um, tones of colours that I've got in the background. Now I decided I wanted to have some sort of quote on my page. So I am stamping it out. Uh, this stamp or this yeah this stamp has um, the white space in it so I decided that I wanted to make the white space colored so I scraped out some pink ink and then stamped over the top of it but once I'd done it it blended in too much it didn't obviously pop it out from the background as much as I wanted it to um, so I used those for another page no, I put them on this page, but I decided to do something else first. 
getting ahead of myself. So this is a collage tissue. Um, I think it's the alphabet set. And I'm just gluing it straight on to some white card. Now the reason for that is if I glued that straight onto the background, I would have the same image. It would blend into the background too much. I wanted it to stay out um, nice and bright from the background. So by gluing it onto the white page, you've just um, you're focusing on the image itself. Um, because this has sort of like a um, spray painted fuzzy edge to it, I've just torn out the edges. Uh, so that is sort of still got that torn edge look. And now I'm just gluing it down into the space on my page. So you can sort of see the difference between having that inked up saying as opposed to just having the white on it. To push the face out from the background a little bit, I'm just going over with my Stabilo All Pencil, adding in a little bit of shadow around the um, stenciled images so it stands out a little bit. I'm also putting in a little bit of journaling about this page, about what staying wild means to me. So this is a finished page, close up, so you can see sort of the splatter in the background. You can see that image, how it pops out from the background. You can see the little bit of um, embossing the background. You can see where I use those stay wild, don't hide. Just by mounting it on the white, again, it pushes it out from the background. So just think about sort of balance and how it's working when you get to the end. Just because you stamp something out or you know cut something out doesn't mean you necessarily have to use all of it or use it on your page. Um, it can always be used in something else later on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye for now.